Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this episode of FPS Game in Unity, we actually have to go back and create a, another animation. This is all my fault, I forgot to make this one back when we were making making them. We have to make a sprint animation. That shouldn't be too hard, we'll just take the walk animation and then make some changes. That shouldn't be too hard if we just go back and open up our save file that we made, FPS Arms Walk Knife. And now we can just make some changes and turn this into a sprint animation. First off, just so we don't change something accidentally, I'm just gonna go File Save As, and then I'm gonna save this as FPS Arms Sprint Knife. I'm also gonna rename it down here, Sprint Knife. And that, that should be it. Now what we want to do is just move this arm further back and move it further in front here. And that should make it feel like you're sprinting. So I'm gonna take this bone on frame one, rotate it around the x-axis, a bit more back, and click I while having this bone selected. Go to this frame, make this arm go a bit more up, and make this arm go a bit more down. And then we also have to go here, select everything with A, press Ctrl C. Go to the last frame, Control V, and press I. Also, I want to make this arm go a bit more up. So copy that on the first frame, like that. And now if we play it, I'll also add some details. So once the arm is fully extended up, I'm just going to rotate the forearm a bit more. Click I, copy that to the last frame. And right here in the middle, I'm also going to rotate this part, click I. If it's too slow right now, that's cool because we can change this in Unity. We can change the animation speed. So that shouldn't be a big problem. So that should be it. So I'm just going to save the file, select the armature, go into object mode, file, export, FBX. Go into the FBX file here, FPS Arm Sprint Knife, selected object, and change this. Check, check this for scale, and then export. And now I have to go to Unity and import all of that. So find your file, and I'm just going to drag it into the project. Now we have to set it up, same as the, all of the other ones. J uh, set the scale factor to 0 0.2. Apply that. Go to the rig, change this to humanoid, copy from other avatar, and then we'll just take our FPS arms avatar, put it right there, click yes, apply, and if we go here, so this is our walk animation, and this is our sprint animation. You can see that it's much stronger. So that's it for this video. In, that, in the next video, we should be applying these animations to our player and making him play animations whenever we need to. So if you enjoyed this, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, check out the next episode. And as always, you can go support me on Patreon if you feel very generous. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.